My name is Isabel. My name is Florence. And together we formed Please Us Cupcakes. Mm -hmm. We started off as friends. And we pretty much met almost 10 years ago because we met in September 2006. And now... Uh, in Sec 1, yeah. In high, high school. school. And, um... Well, now we... Our friendship developed, like, pretty well. And we, we are best friends. <laughs> <laughs> but we're really close. Like, honestly, yeah. we tell each other everything, whether it's, like, business or just friendship or, like, anything, really. It's almost like we're sisters, <laughs> honestly. Because I don't have any siblings. And, yeah, she's the closest thing to a sister that I have. Mm -hmm. And um, together we formed Fleeza's Cupcakes because we had a passion for baking. Mm -hmm. um, she's really, really artistic. Like, she's <laughs> a perfectionist and she, she loves to... For her, cupcakes need to look super, super pretty. And yeah, I mean, it's more the look, and her, it's more like the taste. And we started from like not knowing anything to looking videos, looking recipes, and figuring out what we were gonna do with yeah. this. And like we, uh, yeah, we so had. Now we're mostly like business partners, but we're still. Oh yeah, the friendship is still there. Yeah, and I think it just made us more close. Yeah, it's like a project that's us like mm -hmm. it's our own project and it comes from both of us. I wouldn't do it without her and same I thing. don't think she'd do it without same me. Thing. The first thing we baked was the rainbow cake. Do you remember? Oh. Like that's a while back. Like we did a cake oh my God. together. We and were it was, in high school. Yeah, it was a rainbow cake. Like you just put the batter in different bowls that's and true. you put uh, food coloring. Yeah. And then it makes a rainbow cake. It looked so awesome. So yeah. I think we tried to make rainbow cupcakes or something. I don't remember how it started but I, I yeah. think that's the first thing we did. And then when it really, really, really all started, it was uh, last August, and basically we had done a few before that for uh, like during the summer before that, and um, I don't know, we were doing Just that for thing. Fun, yeah, yeah, we were. We thought about it, and it seemed like I remember fun. her parents would say like, "What would you do? Like, what are you gonna do with all these cupcakes? Like, we're not gonna eat them. What are you gonna do with all of these cupcakes?" <laughs> but we were just having fun, so we just kept making them. And people would come eat them. Yeah, we had friends. friends. They were <laughs> like, happy. <laughs> <laughs> like come eat cupcakes and chill with us. Yeah. And uh, it turned out really cool. And then at my mom's job, there was a fundraiser, mm -hmm. and that's the first time we actually made marshmallow flower cupcakes. And, like, which we, we do a lot now. Yeah. And that was the first time. Yeah. And they're pretty thoroughly. Yes. Yeah. Nice. So, anyways, and that was like our first test, and it turned out pretty cool. Yeah. And then we learned from our mistakes at first. Like I was like. If I look at them now, they're not that pretty, because now we're better. One thing that if everyone in the world would be able to do, we would live in a better world. Okay. Um, being lactose intolerant for me uh, changed a lot of things. I didn't know this before, but people that are allergic to stuff or intolerant to stuff or uh, just simply don't like or want to eat certain things are always uh, limited in what they do and what they eat and, what, and how they feel. And uh, for me, it was really hard because from one day to another, I couldn't eat anything with milk in it. And honestly, like my reaction is really bad to it, so I just don't go for anything that has milk ingredients in in the food. And uh, if everyone could actually be more careful with each other's allergies or intolerances, I think that would be great. Like just typically, if you go at a salad place and you wanna, you know, where there's like a bar of salads and there's like different types of salads. They're always, always, always decorated with cheese. But like, you know, the salad's like super pretty and there's not actually cheese in the mixture, it's just decorated with mm -hmm. cheese. So that makes it impossible for me to eat. And likewise, so side or likewise, for a lot of people that are gluten intolerant, you know how in Caesar salad, uh, it's often decorated with croutons. If they don't put croutons on, and they just like put it on the side, people that have gluten intolerance could actually eat Caesar salad. And I think it's something that's super simple that a lot of people could easily accommodate to and it wouldn't change much. And it's simple. I feel like it's simple. And yeah, it's just like yeah. finding the time and thinking about it. It's really thinking about it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can just be nice to strangers and just smile like you said. Smile like the street, strangers in the street and just take deep breaths. Whatever happens is okay. And just be calm. Everything is going to be okay. No one's just dead. Like, no one's dead, right? No. Have to, like, keep it cool. Keep it. And or, just smile to, to people. You know, just something nice. I, I used to not do before. You know how um, homeless people are always like ignored by people every yeah. like in the street. They're just doing their own thing, and a lot of time you won't want to give them money. Like personally, I'd rather give them food or like 
drinks or like uh because you don't know what they're gonna do with your money you yeah. don't know like if you give to yeah you give like I, I had like a tim hortons card that was like a buck or something on it left and i just gave it to a homeless person like but like i i rather give them other things than money like when we went out we went to eat some i don't remember when and she had oh, yeah. food left over and she was like i don't know what to do with it we were downtown and we were living like in Pierrefonds or something yeah we were gonna go back home and there's no homeless people in Pierrefonds yeah so no no you didn't want to take it home you didn't no, want to that's have true. it like, I didn't want to have it. so she was like yeah i'll just take it and i'll give it to someone on the street and that's what i did yeah and he, they were so happy <laughs> i was like do you want general uh, general tao yeah, yeah i remember that yeah that was cool yeah and um, he was so happy just to see the smile on our faces. Nice. And also, like uh, for homeless people, I try not to ignore them at all. Like if they they ask for change, I'll at least say I'm sorry I don't have some, or uh, not today, or like have a nice day anyway. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know like and what they've been through. Like ignorance is like the worst insult. Mm -hmm. It's like you're nothing. You're not even worse. Like yeah. you're like a tree. I just see you and I continue. <laughs> like, but saying hi or saying like. I'm sorry I don't have some today, or like have a nice day, at least you acknowledge that they're there. Mm -hmm. Or just a smile, like yeah. I said, just be nice. <laughs> like smile with a pretty yeah. face. <laughs> <laughs> Any advice we have to give to future generations? Not be afraid to start, not be afraid to like... Honestly, at first we, we pretty much said to ourselves, we're gonna try it for fun, and if see what happens. Not, yeah. And it, in our heads, it was never... Um, we were a job. It no, was never a job. Yeah. It was for fun. I remember telling her, like, if we continue and we don't have fun anymore, we stop. Because yeah. that's for fun. And if we don't have it, uh, have fun anymore, like, what's the point? If we and don't... It was kind of also uh, a way to ex escape work. Escape from... Yeah, because uh, it didn't feel like work. It didn't feel yeah. like... And so, like, the advice I'd have to give to people is maybe uh, not to be afraid to just fail because like not everything in your life is going to work out mm -hmm. and if we were afraid to fail I, I don't think we would have even tried like uh, not be shy to show who you are and your and what you do and give it a try why yeah. not like what do you have to to lose, to lose? in worst cases people are going to say your cupcakes are really disgusting you're really <laughs> ugly and like you shouldn't be doing this with your time but like that's yeah. not what happened for us but we were we were kind of like not expecting anything. We were just like doing it for fun and Why whatever we... happens, happens. We started as friends and now we are Clueless Cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs>